Hey guys, thanks for joining me for this video. So this is going to be a little bit different from my normal videos. I'm not talking about 3D modeling or texturing or anything in there. Uh, so you can kind of ignore the background here. But what I'm talking about today is a very underutilized Windows feature. Uh, most people work in Windows nowadays for pretty much everything. So uh, this is this is strictly for Windows users. Um, Apple, it's a little bit different. Um, well, this does include iPhone later on, but uh, at this point, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to take a screenshot because I see a lot of people who will just hit the print screen button on their keyboard, then open up paint, paste that in, then save out that document. And then when they want to go load that document into some kind of um, chat or forum or discord server or something, they actually upload the file. And that's just so many steps. There's so many clicking boxes, clicking load, all these kinds of things. It's unnecessary. It's a lot of extra work. Um, there's a built-in feature in Windows, uh, I think it's called the Snipping Tool, Snipper Tool, uh, and basically it allows you to take a screenshot um, at the click of a button, and you don't have to take the entire window. So normally if I hit print screen, it's going to grab a, a screenshot of my entire window here, but let's say I just want to cut off like a piece of my, my screen here and just show that. So if I hold the Windows key and Shift and then hit S, it's going to bring up this little snipping tool. I can click and drag around my selection. Hopefully the uh, screen recorder is getting this. If I let go, it's going to go ahead and snap that screenshot. And then if I go down here to my right hand corner and open up my notifications, Snip and Sketch is going to have this last uh, recorded screenshot here. If I go ahead and just click on it, it'll bring up the Snip and Sketch app. Now automatically when I went ahead and did this uh, screenshot with the Windows Shift S key, it, it saved a copy of that image in my clipboard. So basically it's the same thing as if I hit Control C or you know right click copy on like a text uh, body or something like that. This image is currently saved to my clipboard. So I can paste this image directly into pretty much anything at this point or I can edit it. I can make annotations. I can grab this little marker thing. I can change the color, change the width. Um, and I can make annotations. So like I can do, I don't know, I'll just write face with the mouse. So it looks terrible. I can also highlight things. Doesn't show up too well on a dark background, but if you're editing text, you can do that. You can also do this pencil thing. You can do uh, touch writing, which I have a mouse, so it's not really going to do much. You can erase what you've done. You can also use a ruler tool, which is really nice. If I want to draw a straight line, I can just line this up and then draw on top of it with the marker. Or if I hover over the mouse, or sorry, hover over the ruler, and then with my middle mouse, I start spinning the wheel, it'll start rotating it to whatever angle I want, and I can set it up and I can draw a straight line. So that's just a couple of things you can do with this. I can also turn that ruler off and turn it into a protractor. So all kinds of stuff you can use if you want to draw perfect circles, whatever you want to do. Um, and you can also crop the image. So let's say I want to crop it down to here, right? And every time I go ahead and I make an update and I save that update into it, it's going to update right here. You'll see, let me go ahead and just draw this C back. I'm going to draw the C and you'll see right here, this little check mark pops up. And that means that it has, it has updated my clipboard to include this check mark. So uh, at this point, I don't have to do anything else other than just open up my uh, wherever it is I want to paste this into. So for instance, in this case, let's go ahead and I'm just going to dump it in my uh, personal Discord server that I use for my own files or whatever. If I go into my message box here and I just hit Control V to paste, it'll, it'll automatically populate this right here. And then I could just hit Enter and that'll send that into my... Um, my discord server here this little channel now this works on almost all messaging apps and websites that exist out there you can use it on Facebook Messenger you can use it in Word documents you can use it uh, in paint you can use it pretty much everywhere Voxer WhatsApp um, all over the place actually Voxer doesn't work but not a lot of people use that app anyway so forget that um, so yeah you can you can paste this into pretty much anything and it's super quick. Now if you wanted to, you can actually save this as well just by hitting this little save icon and then just choose where you want to save it. And you can save it out as an image as well. But I find it to be a lot more useful to just keep it in my clipboard, 
uh, which by the way if it didn't update you can always click this button here and it'll copy it back into the clipboard again and then just paste it in wherever you want now what about those people who are they want to send their message on their phone but they have a screen on their computer and they want to be able to take a screenshot of what's on the computer and send it on the phone well there's a really cool app built in to Windows 10 and higher I believe it might even be earlier um, and if it's not built in you can just find it in the Windows Store and it's called uh, phone link and I have it open right here so this is what the phone link app looks like I've already got my phone streaming right now no I don't let me go ahead and get that connected real quick and it might not work for this but let me go ahead and show you how to set this up okay there it goes so right now we can see my my phone screen this is what my phone looks like if I go here to the settings of the app and I go down to features so you'll be in general you go down to features and you make sure cross device copy and paste is clicked on anything you copy or paste from one meaning from your PC to your phone or from your uh, phone to your PC will automatically go into the clipboard of the other so if I was to cop copy something on my phone or sorry on my uh, computer it'll automatically go into the clipboard on my phone uh, I am using Android I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S21 I believe this also works on iPhones as well you just have to get the uh, phone link app so let's go ahead and make another screenshot I'm gonna click and drag my selection here and then I'm gonna open up my phone and it's trying to reconnect for some reason it's having trouble okay so now I'm on my phone and if I click in my text box box you'll see this little paste thing here or if this little paste buttons not here just long press and click paste and there we go now it's loading that same image that was in my clipboard on my PC onto my phone and I can just hit send and it'll take however long it's gonna take to upload that I don't know why but my uh, Wi-Fi in my office kinda sucks so that might not show up right away but anyway, that's how you do that. It's really quick and easy to just um, basically copy and paste screenshots back and forth from your phone to your PC, or if you want to just keep it on the PC, just keep it in your clipboard. And uh, yeah, super simple. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.